Hello everyone and welcome today to a new quick video. Um, I would like today to talk about the off-screen canvas. That's a very new feature we added very recently in the 41 Alpha 24. It will be something I'm going to show you today. Uh, you have to make sure to be on the very latest Alpha version to be able to test it. So let's switch directly to um, the demo. Here, as you can see, we have uh, two BabylonJS engine running side by side. The one on the left here is running on the main thread, exactly like what you could do today by just instantiating BabylonJS on your um, JavaScript code. The second one here is inside the worker thread. So let me just pause here for a minute. A worker thread is something that uh, JavaScript is allowed to do since uh, quite a few time. It's the opportunity to run a code inside a second thread. And actually, we should not use the term of thread here. It's more a process in the sense that this worker thread do not share memory with the main uh, thread. Uh, there are options to share float32 array in memory. We call that shared array buffer. But beside that, there is no way to easily communicate between the two threads without using a post message and uh, on message events. So here, what you have to uh, imagine is that on the left and on the right, we have two separated engines, both working on their own thread. The new feature here is that BabylonJS can now render inside a worker thread using a technique named the off-screen canvas. I'm going to get back to that later, but so far, let's just see how things are going to work if I am slowing things down. When I'm going to click on this specific button, I will just overload the main thread by doing some random um, computations. But just imagine it's your business code that will run on the main thread, and uh, you do not have enough time to run your business code side by side with your rendering code. So let's just click on that. And immediately, you're going to see that, let me just remove my face for second here, you're going to see that the main thread is definitely lagging, whereas the worker thread keeps working. And that makes sense because we now have two threads. And let me just open the task manager here. And let me get more detail and check the performance here. Let me then switch to a logical processor. And you're going to see that we have several processors running, not just one. And one of them is using BabylonJS, and the other one is using BabylonJS plus the uh, business code. All right? Here, it's perfectly smooth because it's running on different threads. So let's check together how you can do that. This is the code uh, of the page itself. All right? In this page, the only thing I am doing is just making sure that I am referencing the very latest version of BabylonJS coming from preview. OK? And uh, I also need my loaders to, lead, to load the GLTF files. OK? I now have two canvas. Let me show you the code itself. So I have my description, and then I have two canvas, the render canvas and the canvas that's going to be used to receive the rendering from the off-screen canvas. What I am doing is just a bit of uh, feature detection. If I find the off-screen canvas object in window, that's going to work mostly on Chrome or Edgeum or Opera, all Chromium-based uh, browser. Firefox does not implement uh, yet the entire uh, feature of off-screen canvas. Hopefully, they will do that soon. And what I am doing here, I am calling a specific API called transfer control to off-screen. I am asking that uh, canvas, the worker the worker render canvas to give me a new canvas, the off-screen canvas, and I will send that canvas to a worker that will be loaded from worker.js here. Okay? The worker.js here is my my worker that my code, I mean, that will just execute the same thing as the main thread, but on a different thread. Okay? And I also need to send him uh, some information when uh, the system is changing the size, because then the off-screen canvas may, must be updated. All right? And then I have also a second script, and that's the regular code you are used to use, where you know what? You just create your scene. You um, run a render loop. Inside the render loop, you check if the engine was not resized, and if there is an active camera, you render. Okay? And the, the code, this code, is exactly the same 
which can be executed by the worker. Okay, so no big difference here. All right. Here, the worker, you can see that the worker is also getting the same information from uh, the system. We are getting Babylon.js inside the worker. So let me show you how the worker code is working. We are here getting, importing the script inside the second thread here. And we are also importing the index.js code, which is the same as here. Both canvas will read that code, which is loading the flight helmet, and just create an environment, a light, and a camera. Okay, So they will both execute the same code. The only difference is that here, we need to have a own message um, handler. This handler will be called from the main thread when we send either the canvas okay, or a new size for the canvas. When we get the canvas, Babylon JS engine now, if you are using the very latest version, understand that the canvas could be either a regular HTML canvas or a off-screen canvas. And then everything else remains the same. There is no other difference. From the Babylon JS standpoint, working inside the worker thread or working in outside of it makes no difference. Actually, there is one difference that you have to be aware of. When Babylon JS is attached to a off-screen canvas, there is no way for it to control the inputs. So if I reload this page, you're going to see that the canvas, the regular canvas, the one on the main thread, I can control the camera because Babylon JS is able to attach to the input events. But input events only exist inside the main thread. So if I come here and I try to move the camera, because this canvas is actually delegated to a thread which has no access to anything DOM related, inputs for instance, then um, it will not be possible for this instance to manipulate the input. So it's up to you uh, to, if you want to play that game using an off-screen canvas, to capture the events here and using the same mechanism post messages to the second thread to send uh, updates on where the mouse is, for instance. So voila, it's uh, uh, the off-screen canvas. It's a pretty interesting feature if you are uh, interested by having a business work running on your main thread and you are um, concerned by the fact that it could slow down your rendering. With this technique, your rendering will always run at full speed because it's a second thread, a core of your CPU that will, use, uh, that will be used to render it. Uh, hope you like it. Do not forget to register and subscribe to uh, our um, channel for more videos. Have a very good day. See ya. Bye bye.